Don't ask me why I'm wearing red sweats with a green shirt. It's Christmas time. Hey, what's up, guys? It is G Dog back with another video. Uh, <clears throat> let me get a little background information on what this video is about. So, if you guys don't know, there is a wrestling in Texas called Extreme Showdown Wrestling. I may have mentioned it one or tw once or twice on this on this channel. Today, I actually uploaded, or yesterday, depending on you know whenever this uh, video is uploaded, I uploaded their teaser trailer for their Anarchy Championship Invitational. Invitation, whatever you call it. I've mentioned it on this channel a few times, Extreme Showdown Wrestling, how I have a Titan Tron that I made for Alex G. Doesn't look like they're gonna use it. Um uh, one thing I wanted to say is I'm a huge fan of the channel. I support them big time. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have it with me, but I have a shirt, a shirt that has a white Anarchy logo, and I tried to, I tried to make it look like uh, the Anarchy logo that Alex G has, so you can tell I'm a big Alex G fan. <laughs> but um, no, I am not an Adam Sandler a person who likes to like put product placements in his video. But anyway, um. Today, I'm going to give my critiques and my review, my basically my thoughts on the new Anarchy Championship Inventational, whatever, you, Invitation, Inventational. Um, I'm going to give my thoughts on it, what I liked, what I didn't like, um, and my overall thoughts, <laughs> like, you know, because I'm a big fan of the channel and uh, I'm a big fan of their show, even though, you know. I, I'm, I'm obviously not where they live, I'm not in Texas, but, um... Yeah, let's get started. So let's start with the positives. One thing I will say is this uh, this entire video, it did keep me on the end of my seat. Like when I was watching it because I'm like, oh, is he going to kick out of this? Is he going to kick out of that? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is going to be such a great... It's gonna be so epic, and yes, there were many, many crazy moments that happened in this video, especially when Manson got a grenade from Austin G on top of barbed wire. Grenade! Grenades Manson into the barbed wire. Yeah, that was that was badass. Uh, you know, very painful too, especially when also. Uh, again, these are sp little spoilers, but come on, it's a wrestling. Do you really expect spoilers? Anyway, um, I also did like uh, when Alex G got suplexed, uh, back suplexed right onto these two chairs. Looks like Austin G's going for a backdrop. It's over! Uh, and oh, who kicked it? That has oh, got shit. to hurt! Oh, Jesus, that, that, that felt like the most painful thing. Um, I will say a few of the matches were actually very highly energized and they put a lot of thought into them like when Alex G comes out in his red shirt his red anarchy shirt which actually reminded me of the shirt that he had in 2009 remember uh when PL3 was the owner of the company and he burned the shirt yeah that was that was cool uh, I I love that entire segment between him and Austin G hopefully this time he won't cry um uh, the ending was uh, nearly like the ending of the match. Uh, my back kind of hurts her away. Um, the ending of the match was very, very <laughs> like suspenseful. Like you see, oh, this this guy's about to win, and then oh no, this guy wins, and then he wins, and then boom. Um, what else is there? Um, one thing I did like again, there are a lot of laughs that came. Um, one thing, I'm, and again, I keep saying one thing. I will say, <laughs> but um. A lot of labs came through by the wrestlers and the commentator, which, by the way, the ESW legend, the hardcore legend, PL3. Yes, thank you. We needed a legend to do the commentary. Because the the second season, I will say, is, was much better. Uh, Shockwave season two was much better than Shockwave season one. The only thing I didn't like were the commentators. They were horrible actors. They were like, oh my goodness, I do not believe what I'm witnessing. I don't even remember their names. But, uh, yeah. I didn't like those commentators. There were two, actually. I, they they were literally nobody, and I didn't care for them. The only time I watched was because I want to see, ooh, what's going to happen with the world title? Like, you know? 
the commentators didn't really give me that much interest. It didn't have, it didn't pack the same impact. It didn't have the same impact, um, as Old School Kings did with season, uh, one's commentary. Um, but yeah, the, the commentator, the commentator, great choice. Um, a lot of great, uh, of like, great one-on-one -on -one matches between these two. And, um, sorry for my clapping, I'm like that one meme, but, um, yeah, this was a, there was a lot of, a lot of great positives, and especially, also, I love the designs of both the SW title and the Anarchy title. The Anarchy title is the hardcore, the WWE hardcore title, but they spray-painted it, and they painted it in an Anarchy logo on it, it looks badass. The SW logo, uh, the ESW championship is just their... I don't know what you call it. It's the, ES, it's the ECW World Television Championship, but they painted over it with gold, and they added uh, ESW <laughs> Championship. It's really cool. Like, if you just saw from the distance, you were like, whoa, they created their own title, but, you know, closely, if you look closely, and if you've ever been a big fan of their channel, no. But, yeah, uh, that's all my positives. Now on from the positives to the negatives. Let's get on to the negatives. Oh boy, there's mainly a few points. Comedy didn't land. A lot of the comedy didn't land. Um, a lot of jokes were not funny. Young Rolo, who is now supposed to be a rapper, he did not give one funny bit. He gave, gave short stack Marcus Max like a dollar. Bill. Oh, I'm sorry. Drunk stack Marcus Max. Yeah, they're really going to turn that awesome character into a drunk. Because, why not? Because it's cliche enough. <laughs> didn't really work. I was trying to spray the water all over the camera like Alex does, but didn't work. But anyway, um, a lot of the comedy at land, a lot of the jokes just fell flat. I'm thinking to myself, oh my god. Um, a lot of stuff was really, really fake. A lot of the acting was not good. Um, especially there's a point where Austin says, like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die! <laughs> Which means, like, are you really trying with that? You're like, no, you're not trying. But, um, another thing, uh, I didn't like, um, yeah, it was very predictable. A lot of things were very predictable, even though the match was really fun. It was a very, very predictable. Like, Spoiler alert, um, <laughs> when Alex D defeats Austin G with an altercation, they have Hollywood, Austin's new bodyguard, come out, and they just have him defeat him within, like, a minute or two, and it's, like, the most cliche thing, because I'm thinking to myself, they're gonna have Hollywood come out, and he's gonna, he's gonna defeat Alex G. By the way, why is Alex G not getting much, you know, attention now? Seriously, he's back as the hardcore kid, you only have to win the Extreme Rumble. He has done literally nothing. And then in the initial shockwave taping that they made, he lost the match to Cody Rex, got attacked by LSG. I mean, I'm trying to follow them on, on Patreon, but of course, Patreon, you need to accept Visa gift cards. But anyway, um, maybe I missed something on Patreon with their 4th of July classic. I tried to watch it, but it wasn't there. Um... I don't know, they really have not done anything with the hardcore kid coming back. Uh, and the biggest, stupidest, cliche, watered down, dumb thing about the entire video. The ending. Ugh. I had to down the rest of that. Anyway, the worst part is the ending. The ending where Cody Rex defeats the conductor. My voice cracked. He defeats the conductor, becomes a three time, yes, that's three time, undisputed champion. And then Blake Pierce, out of nowhere, who was the referee, who was the main investor for ESW, he comes in. And knocks Cody Rex on his ass, and then spears him, and then he still has a ref sure, one, two, three, and apparently Blake Pierce is the the new Anarchy Champion. It's really dumb. Why? Why? 
Why would you have Blake Pierce do this? We don't need a crooked, uh, like, boss. We, we are not gonna turn, we don't want to turn Blake Pierce into Vince McMahon. Are you, who, what are you thinking? What were you thinking with this? You really have him, like, defeat Cody Rex, really? And then you have him work with Austin G? Um, excuse me, newsflash, didn't Austin G say? Because no longer am I following Russo's script, Blake's script, no longer am I following his script. I'm following my own script. I'm going off script. Did that not apply to this anymore? I mean, I know it's the initial taping, but you still keep some of the messages in there. No? No? Great. So yeah, Blake Pierce apparently is working with Austin G, even though he... <laughs> no signs of it in the circle of chaos, but um, yeah, it's, it's stupid. He's working with Austin G in, in uh, Hollywood, and then Alex G comes out and says, "Get you know, get out of here, get out of here, you idiot." And this, you know, he's like, "Oh, we'll see if you'll get that title match." Like these fuckers think that they know what they're writing, but that's stupid. That bullshit is stupid. Don't write shit like that. It's fucking dumb. I know I'm swearing a lot, but you know. YouTube has a new thing, they don't want you making family-friendly channel stuff, but, you know? So, fuck YouTube. But anyway, that was stupid. It's really stupid. Why would you write something like that? It's cliche. Having the boss be the champion, Vince McMahon, is... Oh, like make, it's one of the reasons why they're making WWE ruined. It's one of the reasons why it's ruined today. Why would you take that storyline and put it into the best wrestling in Texas? It makes no sense. <laughs> why am I this close? <laughs> so close <to> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's all I had for negatives. Um, what would I personally rank? Uh, rate this video on a scale of one to ten. I'd probably give it a good solid seven. Out of ten. Okay, a seven out of ten. That's the best I'm gonna give it. It was hardcore enough, and it was halfway decent, but it's very disappointing with that ending. We don't need Blake Pierce as the bad guy. We don't need him as a heel. He's the investor of the company, and I don't even remember him saying he, that he's now the owner. Joey Russo he was gonna take a back seat, but where is Joey Russo? Where is Joey Russo gonna be in the new reboot of season three? Who knows? Oh well. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss the video when it comes out. What was that angry face? But anyway, um, um, don't miss, um, I don't know. I'll put ESW Shockwaves link in the description. Uh, go check out the original video if you want to watch it. Uh, it's pretty hardcore shit. It's better than what WWE puts on, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Go follow me on Instagram. I'll also put the Instagram link uh, for ESW Shockwave in the description box. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>